Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Stromberg and Carlson wooden wall crank telephone. This is Jane's equipment from Illinois and this is the initial check out of this telephone. Now we're going to run through what we're going to do with this telephone and then we'll kind of look the telephone over a little bit. We're going to be installing a keypad in the battery box area so that's the lower area of the telephone when you open the door. We also want to install a modular port so that Jane can simply bring in any line cord, any length, any color, and plug right into the modular port makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We also want to extend some of the wiring. I think some of the wiring's missing. There's a lot of issues with this telephone. Uh, we have various parts that need to be reinstalled. And then we also want to upgrade the transmitter we're going to upgrade the receiver and we want to show you the receiver capsules now this receiver capsule came in with the unit but it does not have a receiver capsule in it and the cap is actually broke so that's not going to do us a lot of good we're going to have to get a receiver capsule for this and a cap the original here that they have or the one that's on the telephone is it's done uh, it's all broken up and so that's uh, no good and that gives you a look at this one so that won't be used we also have a broken hanger hook switch now I've looked this hook switch hanger over and it's kind of unique so basically what we need to do is see if we cannot repair this original one with some type of a, a splint and we'll just have to see how that goes so we'll know more about that when we get into it but I'd like to try to keep the original one with this telephone because finding this exact one it's a little unique is going to be hard to do now the other end of that hanger that's still installed in the telephone is all bent up so that needs to be straightened so there's going to be a quite a bit of work right there now this telephone does have a crank on the right side but it's all bent up and if you spin the crank it just turns the axle and does not actually turn the magneto so that's an issue we also have an issue with the bells we need to straighten that out there's some pieces missing and we're gonna do some still pictures of the Stromberg and Carlson tag it's got a metal tag on it and we're gonna do some still pictures of the inside of the telephone so there's a lot of work with this unit we also have our transmitter we're gonna to have to upgrade that like we mentioned earlier now the spit cup does look like it's in good condition so that will all have to be put back to the telephone Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this Stromberg and Carlson wooden wall crank telephone. And right now we're working on the magneto, and we were going to show a little bit about what was going on. Now, we have some pieces that are here that go to the magneto. We had to free up the magneto, and we did that. We also straightened the handle. This has been straightened. It was all bent up and twisted. And we have some other issues that we need to take care of with this magneto. 
adjusting the points and we need to go through a little more of the unit and then we'll put everything back together again and reinstall it into the telephone but this is what the magneto looks like when it's taken apart and we could take the rest of the magnets off but at this point we do not have to we can get to everything that we need to get to so that just kind of gives you a look at what the magneto looks like so we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this Stromberg and Carlson wooden wall crank telephone we're going to run through a little bit about what went on now we repaired our receiver capsule the cap was bad so that was replaced we upgraded our receiver capsule itself on the inside we made sure that our cloth cord was good we also wired that into the circuit. We upgraded our transmitter. We had to add some hardware. Some of it was missing. We also adjusted our bells. We worked on the solenoids for the bells. The clapper had to be adjusted. So that was all taken care of. We showed earlier where we repaired the magneto and it would not crank. It would turn, but it wasn't turning the magneto itself. So that was uh, cleaned. The oil points were oiled, and that was gone through and repaired. We straightened out the crank handle. That was bent up. We also repaired the hook switch hanger. We cleaned the hook switch and wired that the way we needed it wired. We also added some wiring we attached into some of the original wiring, so we utilized that. We also installed a keypad in this telephone so that Jane can simply open the door and dial any number. We added the circuit that we design and build here at the shop that allows you to walk up to this telephone and crank the crank and ring the original bells, but yet not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line and when you get an incoming call the original bells ring so we basically went through everything on the telephone everything was worked on everything's been gone through and so now we're ready to start our final checkout and we're gonna go ahead and use the magneto we're gonna crank that and ring the original bells. so we'll go ahead and do that now We also want to go ahead and send this telephone a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll use the analyzer and we'll send a ring cycle. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Turn on our amplifier. Open our unit up. If you watch the analyzer, you'll see that our numbers roll by. We'll go ahead and dial our numbers out. I'm going to end in a two. Now I want to hit flash, that'll give us dial tone and redial. And the analyzer will end in a two. We can go ahead and hang up, give you some dial tone. We'll push this button on the switch box, that'll give us a line out and totally take the analyzer out of the situation. And we'll call a time and temp number. We'll go ahead and make that call. Good morning. Today is Friday, November 6th. The time is 1229. Current temperature 65 degrees. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. Mostly cloudy today. Showers and thunderstorms likely highs in the lower 70s. Showers and thunderstorms this evening. Lows in the lower 50s. Cooler on Friday. Partly cloudy. 
We can hang up. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We can hang our unit up, turn our amplifier off. We also want to mention that there is a volume control on the right hand side of the keypad so the unit can be turned up and down. Now we also installed a modular port so Jane can simply bring any line cord, any length, any color into this telephone, plug right into the modular port it makes for a simple, easy plug-and-play connection. Now that we know that this Stromberg & Carlson wooden wall crank telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Jane and she can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at wwwa one telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.